Here's the midweek memo. In basketball, the Melbourne Boomers host Townsville in the second of two blockbusters between the teams at the Boombox on Saturday night. WNBA stars Sammy Whitcomb and Jordan Canada lead the league in steals, so ball control will be crucial. Meanwhile, the Sydney Flames are hoping for a big crowd at a double header with the men. Not only do they need a win after two losses last week, but it's the team's first ever pink game, raising funds for the McGrath Foundation when they play Opal Annalie Maley and her Perth Lynx side. We're at the halfway point of the A-League season and Melbourne City had a big win last weekend to sit six points clear on top. City's young Matilda star Daniela Galich scored a hat-trick, while Wanderers striker Sophie Harding snared a double to have the most goals in a season for that club. And this week in the A-League, it's Unite Round, with all 12 of the teams in Sydney. Sitting on 99 goals, will Michelle Heyman be the first player in A-League history to record 100 goals when Canberra played Leichhardt Oval? And will the awesome goal-scoring form of Western United's Matilda Chloe Legazzo continue? The New Chagrin Iron Women series returns this weekend at Sydney's Maroubra Beach. Lana Rogers and Lucy Derbshire started the season well with two podium finishes at Manly in December, but defending champ Georgia Miller dominated to win round two. So rounds three and four should be a great battle. Some of the biggest names in cycling are in Adelaide for the Tour Down Under, with defending champ Grace Brown and last week's National Road Race winner Ruby Roseman Gannon among those who will start on Friday, while the Para World Cup starts on Saturday with a mixed relay. The softball national championships continue from Canberra with New South Wales looking for back-to-back -back titles. Bree Walker has had a great start to the Monobob World Cup season, winning silver and bronze in the last event of 2023. She's back in action in Switzerland and then will combine with bobsled partner Kiara on Sunday night to try and improve on their fourth place finish in December. New mum Nina Curtis will be one of the strategists for Team Australia in this weekend's round of the Sail GP in Abu Dhabi. The Aussie team are on top of the table in the 10 crew competition. And on Sunday, the Australian Open tennis begins. Iga Swiatek, Coco Goff and Elena Rybakina are some of the big names who have been in great form already to start 2024. Aussies Daria Saville and Olivia Gadecki have received wildcards for the tournament, which starts a day earlier this year. That's the memo. See you next week.